Uh, have you ever wondered what drives the price of cryptocurrencies? Well, last week, uh, something interesting happened in the world of Ethereum that shed some light on this question. BlackRock, like a major investment firm, filed for an Ethereum ETF causing a surge in the price of ETH. It soared above $2,000 and the market started buzzing with excitement. But while everyone was focused on the price action, something else was happening behind the scenes. You see, the Ethereum blockchain was hitting milestones that it hadn't reached in a while. One of these milestones was its revenue. According to Eric Smith, chief investment officer at 401 Financials, the revenue had reached $10 million again. The last time it hit such levels was back in July. This increase in revenue meant that there was a surge in activity on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, but how does Ethereum generate revenue? Well, it mainly comes from the network fees it charges users. Um, these fees, also known as gas fees, are the amount of computational specimen effort required to make transactions on the network. Uh, and they serve as a way of incentivizing validators, uh, the people responsible for keeping the Ethereum network running smoothly. Uh, uh, during this surge in activity, the average gas price reached its highest point in the last 30 days. This indicated an increase in demand for ETH. Uh, additionally, Ethereum's network growth rose to 78,500, uh, showing that more new addresses were being created on the blockchain. Uh, this suggested that uh, user adoption was growing. Um, and then these millions of evidence offers exploited for a single offer uh, to do this. And this is, in my opinion, um, as we uh, serving and offers Ethereum network had also decreased um, and so this meant that the level of um, interaction or speculation around the token um, had decreased as well across with the same 10 million dollar ship so what does this all mean for the future of Ethereum well to surpass the 10 million dollar revenue mark and continue growing the demand for ETH needs to increase even more the drop in gas fees has affected the revenue. And for Ethereum to thrive, it needs more users and activity on its network. Uh, in conclusion, the recent surge in the price of ETH due to BlackRock's Ethereum ETF filing brought attention to the underlying activity on the Ethereum blockchain, while the pricing action was exciting. It was the increase in revenue and network growth that revealed the true potential of Ethereum. But that said, Let's hope that the demand for ETH keeps rising and brings even more success to this innovative blockchain platform. And now for a short joke, why did the blockchain go to the party? Because it wanted to have a decentralized dance. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.